Hi everybody, it's Tina from Tina's Crafty Life and I'm here to share Project Share. I did this on my live video yesterday or the day before, I don't remember, one of those days. And I have to thank Kat from Perfectly Imperfect. She helped me out here because I usually used one frame to do these and I, I, I bet you I, I, break, I broke probably 20 frames since I started altering invitations for people's weddings. I've done it for a bridal show or a bridal shower or I should say baby shower announcement also. And and the frames, these deep frames are so expensive. So I usually just take an eight by ten frame and I make it work and I kind of get it in there and then I tape it with duct tape on the back. But cat, because I broke the glass right on my live video, guys. It's funny. If you want to check it out, I'll have that original video linked in the description box so you can see how I did this. Cat suggested taking two frames and double them up. And I did it, guys. It's pretty cool. And then I just wrapped ribbon going all the way around so that it hides the two frames glued together. And one of my pearls fell off. It's in there. Hear it? I ain't worried about it. <laughs> so, this is friend of ours' daughter's getting married in October, and her theme is fall. So I did. I'll bring this back in. I I have cream color paper underneath, and then I took white lace going across the cream color paper. And the thing is, is you can't even see where I put it together because it was only sections. And then I put her invitation in the center. And then this leaf, I start out with this leaf with the ribbon going around. And then I come back and I put it underneath this leaf. And I just added the leaves, added the little flowers, and then I put it in a frame. So I thought I'd just share it with you so you can see what it looks like. And that was my week's project. And then, of course, I bought this today for them. And what I'll do is I'm going to find a nice little wedding po or poem or something that I'll say from Scott and I on the back. And I'll put it there and then the, the date. And I did duct tape it regardless so it stays together. So that is my altar frame. That's what I did there on my live the other day. And I also did some coloring. So I'll share that. I made some little cards this week and they're just little 4x4 four four cards and they're the little witch this one and I just did a whole bunch they're, you see that's a green cauldron they're all different I'm going real fast because they're, they're basically the same they're just colored a little different that's the witch ones. And I did the little pumpkin guy. And on the back of this pumpkin guy, this is Distress Oxides. And I matted this. And I cut this image out first. And then I used a piece of washi tape, stuck it on there. And then I went over with the Distress. And then I propped it up. And then I colored the guys. I like this one. That's my favorite one. Sorry, guy. Not in camera. I'm bad. Hopefully you understood what I did there. I'm going to explain it again just in case I was in camera. I cut the image out. And then I put it on top of the stamp image with a little bit of washi tape. And then I went over with the distress. And then I popped it up and he stayed white. So I was able to color him. I've seen that technique before. And I just didn't know how I seen them use a spray and Jan's one that suggested from Jan's crazy life was a little washy and guess what it worked so that's the cards I made this week these are for the tag swap so you whoever joined the tag swap is getting a little Halloween card for me in their package and that's this week's project shares I'm trying to figure out what else I did I think that's it yeah Oh, I did do the tags, which I shared earlier. I did these also. This is for the, um, I forgot what it's called. Brain dead here. 
think out of the box. So I did them this week too. And I also did these tags for the tag swap for examples. Oh, I missed the tag. I didn't even mess it up. But I had four tags made. Where's my can of corn tag? I had a can of corn tag. I don't know where he went. I guess the can of corn decided to grow legs and walk away. Because I'm not sitting over here. But, yep, so I did them as well this week. So these are my projects I did this week. But I thought I'd just do a project share so you can see what I did this week. And I will talk to y'all later. Have a good Friday, everybody. And as always, be happy, be safe, and be crafty. And I will talk to you next time. Bye for now.